Here's our next example, and I want to point out something first about our numerator, that we have two terms, 10 and then a positive 6 radical 2. We haven't talked about different radical terms yet, but what I can tell you for right now is that these are not like terms. We can't do this addition. We cannot add the 10 plus 6 because this 6 radical 2 is an irrational number. It has this radical part. Bottom line, you can't add numbers if one has a radical part and the other one does not. So these are not like terms. So avoid any thoughts of, well, I should add or do something to the numerator. We're actually looking at a different idea that you do see pretty commonly, and it's about how to simplify this fraction. First of all, it would be completely incorrect to try to just simplify the 10 with the 16, or the 6 with the 16. You need to be able to cancel out of all three of these spots. Okay, the, the rational number in the denominator, the rational number up here, and that rational coefficient. Those are the three areas we need to be able to evenly divide out of those three places. So there are two ways to think about it. That's pretty much the, f the first way where I say to myself, yeah, I can cancel this or, or simplify this fraction because I could divide these one, two, three numbers. I could divide them all by two. So that's going to make it legit. I can divide that by two and get five, divide that by two, get three, and so on. And that's how I would simplify this fraction equals 5 plus 3 radical 2 over 8. That's the only type of valid canceling we can do here. Anything that you're still spotting that you might want to cancel or something that you would do differently, it's not valid if you're not coming up with this answer. The other thing that I can sometimes think of to keep me on track with this canceling, especially if I'm learning this right after rational expressions, where to simplify a rational expression, I always would tell myself, factor, then cancel. And if I keep thinking that, I look at the numerator where I have two terms, and I say, is there a GCF that I could factor out? And it would be a 2 left with 5 plus 3 radical 2. So the factor part, I'm thinking, is there a GCF between these two rational numbers, the rational number 10, and the number that we have in front of the radical. The denominator, that's just a one term, 16, not going to try to mess with that. But where we go to look for canceling, then, is our denominator with the GCF. That's always going to be a valid cancel, a number out in front there with the denominator. And that takes us to the same answer. This 5, oops, 5 plus 3, really squeezing it in there, that's no good, right up there. Same thing, 5 plus 3 radical 2 over 8. Here's another example. It's similar to, a little bit similar to the previous example, but there's another main idea that I really want to get to, which is for the majority of the problems that you need to do when you're working with radicals, just simplifying the radicals is always going to be an important part. So when you begin a problem, I would check out the radicals to see can you just simplify any of the radicals and then usually when you're at the end of a problem, you want to make sure that all of your radicals are simplified. So we're thinking about that idea as always for our first move. Can any of these radicals be simplified? And we can definitely do some simplifying for each one. Let's just make some room onto the side where we'll do each of these. Square root of 100. I'll be honest. 1 through 10, the, the perfect squares you should know. So any number that we can get to from doing something times itself, you should have in memory. So we're talking about 1, 4, 9, 16. I'm writing where you can't see it. There we are. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. You should know these as 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, and more. 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. These at least you should know. There's a 6 times 6, 7 times 7, 8 times 8, 9 times 9, 10 times 10. If you have these in memory, your path through these problems will always be much, much smoother. So the square root of 100, we recognize that right away as 10 times, or the, the square root is just 10. We see the radicand 100 as 10 times 10, so the square root equals 10. And there's another one that we should spot right away, that square root of 16 is 4. 
square root of 27, not on the list. So when that happens, I go to my method where I look for prime factors. 27 is a 3 times 9, and that 9 is 3 times 3. So I'm starting to just have some scratch area here. Put square root of 27, 3 times 3 times 3. A pair of 3's, so I'm bringing 1 3 out of the radical, and 1 3 that didn't get paired up needs to stay inside the radical. Okay, so we've got 3 radical 3 will go in place of this radical 27, and a 10 for the radical 100, and a 4 for the radical 16. So let me just rewrite this problem, and we'll put in our new rational values. 10 plus, now that radical 27 had a 2 out front, so when we simplified and got that 3 radical 3, the 3 is getting multiplied to the 2 that's out front. So our 2 times radical 27 is turned into 2 times 3 radical 3, and those numbers out front definitely should be multiplied together. I'll just save that for our next step because in the denominator where we had 2 times radical 16, now it is 2 times 4. And those numbers we will multiply together. 10 plus 6 radical 3 over 8. And finally, we simplified each of the radicals to begin with. Now we have to think about can we simplify this fraction. And we're looking at can we cancel from all three of those locations, the 10, the 8, and the 6. That 6 was a 5. There's no canceling we could do. I don't care what you think about the 10 and the 8 or the 5 and the 10. Um, if that 8 was a 3, there would be nothing we could do. If you're thinking about a 6 and a 3, well, I'd say it has to be from all three places. And the guy inside the radical, we're not even thinking about with these other ones all outsiders. So these three locations get to the points already guy. Divide everything by 2. So the simplified fraction, 5 plus 3 radical 3 over 4.